anybody going once going twice going three times I know I know one thing y'all y'all know I'm inside of a truck that's all y'all know I'm inside of a truck this right here is uh Virginia 210. I think that's what it is. Virginia 210, US 210, one of them. I'm not too sure. But I know back back the opposite direction. It, it leads to a dead end. And it turns it goes back to you either, if I go back the other way, the same way I'm gonna come when I leave. If you keep straight, you're gonna hit a dead end. But you can make a left and get back on the ramp, get back on the freeway. I'll give y'all the hint. I'm in Virginia. Two point eight miles from my my shipper. Beautiful, beautiful country out here. Very beautiful. I know some bears in the woods out there. As long as they don't run out hit my truck, I'm, I'm cool. But if I'm on foot, I see one. Might be a bad day for the bear. Hey, help. Help the bear. Don't help me. Help the bear. I told y'all the other day, white pipe, blue pipe, purple pipe, I don't discriminate against pipes. Any kind, any color pipe, all pipes matter. I just said that the other day. That was your hint right there. Let's see if anybody knows where I'm at yet. I'm in Virginia. that sign in front of me says uh, business 29 so we got already know highway 29 runs through this area that I'm in we're getting warm we're getting warm shipping too. Maybe by the time I get loaded and all that, get checked in, get loaded, maybe it won't be raining. We're going to see. I got to turn the volume back up on my GPS so y'all can hear. I turned the volume down last time I was in New York because she kept giving me uh, weight violations and vertical clearance warnings even though I was actually on the right route like it, it does that in New York that's why I was just telling somebody yesterday when you go to New York you got to be real careful because the truck GPS doesn't always keep up with all, all the turns you got to make like you got like you can make a you can make a right turn and like as soon as you make the right, you have to make a left. But the, the truck GPS won't keep up. So what I do, when I go in places like that, I run my I run my uh, Google Maps the same time as the truck GPS. But I don't follow Google Maps now. Don't follow Google Maps. I'm not telling you that. But I run it the same time as the truck GPS because Google Maps moves a little quicker. And like so, if you know what road you got to turn on. But the truck GPS doesn't really keep up with your turns. You know, you can just look on Google Maps and see the, see the names of the streets. Cause you can see the streets pretty easy on Google Maps. And that truck GPS can't it can't keep up in those tight places. It's starting to 
rain now. There it goes. It looks like a beautiful, that's a beautiful skyline right there. Beautiful skyline. Somebody told me the name of this river. Somebody told me. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, I see the sign now. It's called the James River. That's what I'm crossing now, James River. I wouldn't want to fall down in that river. Oh, I can see the shipper to my left. I don't see any trucks. I don't see any trucks sitting over there. So maybe that's a good thing. Unless they're all in the back getting loaded. So maybe I shouldn't be uh, sitting too long to get loaded. Caught the yellow light. I almost had it. Gotta be quicker. So that was the James River that I just crossed. James River. Like the King, LeBron James. Y'all ready for the NBA to start back up? Y'all riding with the Lakers? Y'all riding with the King? King James? Oh, just gave y'all a hint right there. Hey, you didn't see it, you just saw the sign. It said historic downtown, and they had the name of the city. I, well, I don't know if you call this a city, maybe it's a town. bridge up there? That's the bridge I just crossed. Let's see what we have here. Every time I come here, I always got to slow down so I can see this sign to tell you what channel that CD is. The sign is right there. They need to cut them trees down. Channel 2. They need to cut them trees down so you, uh, so you can see the damn sign. PNS buddy. I'm gonna let him move all, all the way out the way. So I don't not sitting on these train tracks. See how I came to a complete stop before crossing those train tracks? You don't always have to do that. But in that case, that PNS truck was moving. I wouldn't have been able to, I would have been sitting on those tracks. So that's why I came to a complete stop and let him go. Yeah, I think y'all know where I'm at now. I think y'all know. Ah, man, let's turn around. Yeah, y'all know where I'm at now. We're gonna go over here and chill for a little bit. If you look directly in front of me, that's two, uh, two TMC trucks, a day cab and one with a sleeper. They run a lot of preloads out of here. Another PNS truck just pulled up. Oh, that's actually a Western Express. I just saw the, uh, I saw it was a Freightliner. Scale house, copy. Might want to turn the volume up. Scale house, copy. Go for security. Hey, uh, PNS Transportation, here for a pickup. One seven o five. Your load number, sir. Four zero three seven seven four four. 
Thank you, sir. We'll give you a radio call when you're ready. In the meantime, hang out there on the right. Ten four. Yeah, might wanna might wanna cut the volume up, man. <laughs> I ain't had the volume up. A lot of people always talk about guys don't ride with the CBs on. Yeah, that's the truth. I, hey, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. Sometimes I don't have it on. But sometimes if I have on, um, if I had a music on, I really can't hear it anyway. I don't got one of them loud speakers like most people have. But like when I come into some, uh, come into some heavy traffic, I most time I cut it on. But when I'm just out cruising or whatever, I don't have it on. That Western Express driver behind me. Yeah, I see he got his door open. So that tells me he don't have a CB. So you know what he got to do. He got to take that walk of shame. And put his hard hat and his uh, safety vest on. And he got to walk down into that skill house. In the meantime, I'm going to just sit here and chill. Hey, man. Hey, I I, I really ain't, I really haven't had a lot of really haven't had a lot of interest in the, in the uh, in the t-shirt contest. I was gonna pick the winner on Wednesday, but uh, hey, I might I think I might need another round of submissions, man. A lot of guys. I, I got I, I got two people already. I got two already, but hey, I could probably do like two more. Hey, y'all want a t-shirt? Hey, just let me know, man. Hey, share the video. Hit me up. Let me know. I'm going to pick two more winners. I got two already. I'm going to get two more. Matter of fact, I'm about to get on the website right now and uh, see what I got. Hey, Joel. Hey, I got a, I got a delivery coming to you tomorrow. The pipes and I was trying to figure out exactly where you were at yes sir I, yeah I have a GPS the address I have is uh, let me see it it's uh it's 312 Eliza Drive yeah it's not showing up okay 426 Campbell Road C A M B E L L Okay, Campbell Road. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Truck seven seven one, you're clear, Tanner. Okay, um, I can park overnight there. Okay. O okay, so as soon as I pass 426 Campbell Road, it's the next right. Gotcha. Yes, sir. OK. 
Okay, but once I once I get there, I'll be able to see some construction going on. Security to storeroom. Oh uh, yeah, I should be there tonight. Yes, sir. All right, thank you, sir. All right, got you, thank you. Hello? Woo, just got off the phone with the contractor. The address that I had was not correct. <laughs> Definitely won't correct. So I got an address now. Said so I could park there tonight. If anybody says anything, I can go to the Walmart. But I'd rather park there because I need to save my clock to get back home. 771, I have your weight. All right. Look at this guy. Walk of shame. No CB. I remember when I used to be that guy. I want to say it's a bad thing to not have a CB. You get, get more exercise. Hey, but I tell you what, when you go to these places, like uh, Rural Note, Virginia, Steel Dynamics, and Scale House, it's, it's a good little walk. You gotta stop at the stop sign. It's probably about a, about a good half a mile walk. So I guess some of these places you go to, you might have to take a long walk. And what if it's raining? What if they got some dogs or some, uh, some, uh, Bears or something. Hey, so get you a CB, man. That's the point. I was at uh, Louisiana Pacific yesterday in Roxboro, North Carolina. Like when you when you uh, go across the scale, the lady comes on the uh, on the CBs like, um, I got your weight. She's like, I got your weight. Uh, continue. But if you don't got, it, Damn it. If, if you don't uh, if you don't hear, have no CB, you can't hear what she's saying. And she was getting frustrated yesterday because a lot of guys were just sitting on the scale not knowing what the hell to do. But I got to listen to my CB right now in case they call my damn truck number. So I'm going to let y'all go. <laughs> address that I got when I called a called a receiver I was looking at it and he told me if I if I couldn't find the uh, find it he told me to just park at the Walmart I seen the Walmart on the map too he said the Walmart's only like three minutes away stop before entering yeah he didn't say nothing on the CB must be good. He must have called that Western Express driver on his cell phone. I see him coming in too. before I came here. The guard the guard called me on my CB. It was a Blair, it was a Blair truck that was in front of me and didn't have a CB. But the Blair truck had to come in first. So he called me and said, hey PNS, tell the Blair driver to come in front of you and you come in behind him. So I told the Blair driver that the man said to come in but the Blair driver was like, it was his first time here, so he was like, I'll let you go first and you pull in. So I tried to be slick and, go, and like, okay. But it didn't work like that. He stopped me on the CB, he said, hey, let the Blair driver pass you. I tried to pull the quick one. 
because they have a specific order that they load you in when you come back here. So if I would have jumped in front of that Blair truck, I might would have got his load and he would have got my load. That would have been a mess. Well, amigo gang over there. Amigo gang. Y'all do know I'm the black amigo. Get up on this damn little gate thing they got over here. Let's get on up here. These people, they want you dead on this damn rail. You think you're going to hit it, but they keep telling you to get over it. It always worries me. I'm like, I'm going to hit this damn rail. They want you within inches of it. So that literally took about 10 minutes. I'm out of security. 10 minutes. Going in for security. Got calm from 841. Got a load of Spitfire and Shreya. 108333. Is it Delta? Yeah, Got another driver up here, scaring his load. I'm gonna get behind him. You're supposed to throw two straps, then pull to the yard. Looks like that's what he's doing. That way you don't block this little area up. That's a TMC driver. Those guys take forever. Money crew, what it do? TMC, the money crew, what it do? To my left, right here, we see the James River and the old strap. Mr. 
the James River. Let's see. We're gonna do five straps on this one, four straps on that one. If you're wondering why five on that one, because it's longer. So I, longer means heavier. So I, I could probably get away with four, but we're gonna do five. Five and four. This stuff right here. I just put that uh I put that up under the uh up under this strap with the tarps. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. I told you I'll be done. Ah, man. Woo. Hey, y'all know something from watching my videos? tell y'all what in almost every video when I get back in the truck you'll see me pick up a towel and wipe my face off always a different color but I can tell y'all it's only going to be three colors it's going to be orange gray or blue can anybody tell me why only those colors that's all you see gray blue or orange Woo, flatbed gang, I'm out, man. I will see y'all when I unload this thing in the morning. I'll be there today if I can find a place. But I'll be there in the morning. I'll be there tonight, but I get unloaded in the morning. I'm out. <laughs>